yesterday, uh, February 25th, a EF2 tornado touched down uh, southeast of Scranton in the uh, Bald Mountain Road area of uh, Plains, Pennsylvania. Uh, traveled 12 miles up to uh, Lake Scranton and lifted up. Uh, never seen anything like it around here. Um, we had some hail where I was living, uh, but none. You know, we saw the, the the black sky and we heard a little bit of a rumbling in the distance, which we thought was thunder, but uh, may have actually been the tornado. So Sunday morning, after hearing a bunch of reports about damage and um, you know houses. Destroyed and trees ripped out. Um, I thought to myself, well, you know, what can I do around here to help out a little bit? So I thought, well, let's uh, see if we can volunteer some of our drone services um, to, you know, kind of survey the damage, assess what happened, maybe even help the uh, National Weather Association determine whether or not it was a tornado. They did not know at the time. Um, so the first thing I did was I called the local uh, uh, National Weather Service office, uh, which happens to be in Binghamton, New York. Uh, they got me in touch with uh, the guy who was coming on site. I explained to him that I had drones. I wanted to help out and, and get them some aerial footage. Um, he was thrilled. They thought that it could be very useful for their analysis. me the only thing I needed was FAA approval uh, so I decided let's call Avoca Airport which is the local class D airport uh, but try uh, getting somebody to pick up uh, the phone on a Sunday morning at the local airport it's nearly impossible um, luckily I had the uh, cell phone number of one of the FAA guys I have dealt with before at Avoca and um, he was able to get me through to the tower I was able to talk to the gentlemen at the tower who were very cooperative and, and thought it was great um, once I got on site I uh, was able to call into the tower tell them where I was what I was doing and uh, you know once I got back on the ground I called them again and told them I was out um, and they were very appreciative of everything I, you know, I, all the communication I did with them. Once I got on the scene, you know, the roads were all blocked off. I had to explain exactly what I was doing there. Uh, I had my fluorescent vest on, which seems to be able to get you, uh, anywhere you want to go. Um, I explained I had a drone I was going to work in conjunction with the, uh, National Weather Service um, and uh, they let me through uh, on on the scene the destruction was pretty devastating there were literally thousands of trees pushed over in all directions uh, there was a house with the roof torn clear off insulation all over the place um, a bunch of shingle damage uh, but Miraculously, there were no injuries or loss of life. Um, put the drone up, got some footage. You could tell just by looking that there was probably a 500 foot wide swath of uh, tornado path that came through. Um, later on, we'd learned that it was 12 miles, you know, 12 mile path um, along a mountain and uh, 120 mile an hour winds, which is pretty incredible. Um, I got the footage, I, I handed it over to the uh, National Weather uh, uh, Service and uh, I actually gave the homeowners uh, copies as well so they can turn them in for their insurance uh, and hopefully you know, help them out getting money. So all in all, it was a great experience. Um, met up with some people from the weather 
the National Weather Association, National Weather Service. Um, and for the last few days, I've been dealing with uh, phone calls from the media, actually looking to, to use our uh, footage, uh, which I gladly provided for them so people would be able to see the uh, devastation. I, I did ask the homeowners first if they would be okay with that. Uh, they agreed. And, um, you know, I've been talking to the Weather Channel and all the local, local affiliates uh, who are asking for permission. So, overall, great experience. Uh, some pretty amazing footage from uh, damage in a very rare uh, tornado in northeastern Pennsylvania. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.